In order to understand why spondylosis occurs, it is helpful to know the basic anatomy of the spine. The spine is made up of 33 individual bones, called vertebrae. The spine is divided into four sections, cervical, thoracic, lumbar, and sacrum and coccyx. A typical vertebra consists of a vertebral body and a vertebral arch, which has processes for articular and muscular attachment. An intervertebral disc is located between vertebral bodies and protects vertebrae and the spinal cord from the impact of activity. Facet joints are located between each pair of vertebrae. They guide the movement of the spine, providing stability and bearing a share of the load of the spine. Spondylosis is a term used to describe different changes in your spinal joints. It may be caused by aging, degenerative changes or osteoarthritis. There are three general types of spondylosis, cervical, thoracic, and lumbar. The type depends on which spinal region is involved in the pathological process. When joint cartilage breaks down, the space between vertebrae decreases, which creates additional pressure on intervertebral disc. Excessive growth of surrounding bone tissue in form of osteophytes and bone spurs may occur as the body tries to repair itself by building extra bone. Osteophytes, and the decrease in space between the vertebrae cause pathological processes involving all structures located between the affected vertebrae, such as facet joints, spinal discs, nerve roots, and the spinal cord, 